Hello again to all my friends. I didn't tell you guys to say hello. Jeez, they've already... Okay. Anyways, hello again to everyone. As always, it is Mr. Benjamin. Happy to be here. Minus Mysterio. Oh, that's a weird looking eye. Okay, I'm going to erase that and do it again. It's one-eyed Benjamin. That's what we're doing with here. I am without Mysterio, but that's okay because today we are doing a student edition review. Can everyone say hello? I asked for hello when I get that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, today we are, in our review we are going to be looking at circles and composite shapes. It's a lot easier to say things. It's a lot harder to write them. So when we're dealing with composite shapes, we'll have one shape like that and another shape attached to it. So there we've got a triangle and a square. Now obviously we can't use any formula to solve that, especially for area. So what do we need to do? Student A, come on up. Yes, you can applaud, that's fine. So this is going to be three centimeters. This will be four centimeters. And we're going to make this a cube. It makes it a lot easier on us. And you're going to have a height of two centimeters. Which, the logics, we're not too worried about, are we? Nah. So, student, you are going to explain how we do this problem. All right. And remember, all of our steps, okay? Okay. So, um, what you do is, uh, is uh, let's cut these two shapes in half. So, take the square, sort of square, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, fr and a triangle. Kind of looks like a pause button. Yeah, let's just say it's all the same shape, all the same sides. Well, a four. Am I right? Then this will be a... <laughs> Three. Yeah, you're good. Don't worry. What's the height again? Uh, two. Two. Okay. And the height's two. Um. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna find the area of both. Area equals base times height. Height. Divided by two. <laughs> area equals. Um. And people say my writing is different. No, no. Oh, two times four. Divided by... Oh. Yeah, two times four divided by two. Area equals four. So you, then you have four over here. Very nice. If you want, you go to a new page. Um, or you can erase it. You can erase it, yeah. <clears throat> so what did we find the area of there? Uh, pardon? That was the area of the... Triangle. Triangle. Now we're going to find the area of the... Um, square. Square. Very good. So it's area equals length times width. Area equals 4 times 4. Area equals 16. Then you just add it all up. By the way, 16 what? Oh, centimeters. Thank you. It's not as easy when you're doing it. Though. Nah. <laughs> Twenty-one. Thank you. And what's our last step? What do we always do in our last step? A sentence. We write a sentence. Therefore. <clears throat> it's like word for word reading that in my mind. It's amazing. Total area is twenty centimeters. Twenty centimeters. Squared! I even missed that one. See, people make mistakes. It's great. You're Thank welcome. you very much, student A. <laughs> student A number two, I guess. <laughs> so, we're going to stick with composite shapes, okay? I'm going to draw a really, really weird shape, and you're going to tell me how many different shapes you can find in it, okay? So let's do that first. That, that, that. Can you draw out all those shapes and tell me what they are? All right, hold on. Maybe I'll just take the pen. So tell me, what is this shape here? Um, a triangle. It is a triangle. So we have one triangle. 
What about this shape here? A triangle. That's another triangle, right? So two triangles. This one down here? A triangle. Another triangle. That's three triangles. And what are we left with? What is this one right here? A square. And one square. So when we look to find the area of this whole shape, of this whole thing, what are we going to need to do? Can we just use one formula? No. No. What do we need? Um. We're going to need two, right? We need the area of the um, triangle. triangle. And we're going to need to add that to the area of the square. The square. Whoops, that's a triangle. That's an A. There you go. Thank you very much, student two. We're going to get student three up now. And what we're going to have her do... <laughs> composite shape or circle? Composite shape. Composite shape. Can we do that exact same shape from last time? Sure. Yeah. All righty. All three of these triangles are going to be the exact same, okay? Yeah. So that's a height there. We'll make that three centimeters. We'll make each one of these sides four which is kind of useless to you. And we will make this last measurement of this square, five. Good to go? Yeah. Remember, step by step, explain what you're doing. Okay. So first, we're going to do the formula for triangles, or triangle, first triangle. And it is... Four, so base times yeah. height divided by two. Now, what's the base of that triangle? Three centimeters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The base? Yeah. Did you say three or five? Three. Am I wrong? I think the base is five, right? That's the base. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Which equals 15 centimeters. So you're missing one step, one uh, very crucial. Uh, so your formula is area equals base times height divided by 2. You have the base and the height. What do you need to do? Divide by 2. Divide by 2. So, wait, I'll just divide 15 by 2? Yeah, or? you can do that. Okay. And... So if it was 14, it would be how much? F of 14 is? 7. 7, but it's 14. It's not 14, it's 15. So you have an extra 1 that you split in half. So it is 7.5. 7 7 very good. And that 7.5 is for each triangle, right? Yeah. So you can add three of those together. I believe that's 22 <coughs> Very nice. Oh. So we've got our three triangles. Yeah. What do we need to find? The square. The square. So, so let's find that square. Is this. And area for square is length times width. Yeah, you can put that back, it's okay. Like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
What are you missing now? The sentence? Well, you gotta do something before that. Oh. So you found the area of all the triangles. Add them up. Add them up. Okay, so what was the last? 22 and a half. Student, don't be afraid to talk us through it. <laughs> so we're going to add these up. I'll tell you, I'm not going to get many subscribers from this video. <laughs> centimeters squared. And now we need to do the sentence. Sentence, very good. So always finish off with a sentence. Therefore, the area. This. Very It's okay, we always do. Or we always do. Yes. See Shape is... No. Like Maybe we'll play it in the background. Seven. Square. Very nice. Thank you very much, student C. All righty. Up next, we have a trio of students, and they're trying to make some sort of hand signal. I don't know what it means. Perimeter? perimeter? We're not doing well, perimeter, though. Well, like the... Perimeter of a circle? How about that? Well, like the... What do we call the perimeter of a circle? Let's find a different color. What color do we want? Black. Black. No, black. On a blackboard? Come on. <laughs> Purple. Purple it is. And let's make it a bit more visible. Do, 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 do. How's that look? Good? Yes. All righty. So when we're doing, you know what? You take that. When we are doing circumference, what do we need? What values? Somebody's got to talk. Oh, uh, pi times r. <clears throat> so we don't even have that value yet. You've got to establish it first, right? Okay. So if we're going to use radius, you can put radius in. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Where does the radius go? The radius is from the middle of the circle to the edge. I need a value for this radius. What value would you like? 10. 12 it is. Oh. <laughs> 12 centimeters. So we have a radius of 12 centimeters. If we want to find the circumference, what is that? It is the distance around the outside. You're right. But what is it? Yeah, it's the French man who went around the world. He said, sir, I come from France. That's, no, he looks oh. really off today, so we're going to get rid of him. Love it. But how do I find it? A pi times r. We use a formula, right? Yes, pi Circumference pi. equals... Pi. Two pi, oh, that, r. pi r. Yes, that. I'm Can sorry. we take over now? Yes, mm -hmm. hopefully. There you go. And remember, for pi, what value do we use? Three. You've got to be louder. I can hear you. They can't. Is that correct? Is that correct? Three point? Three point one four. One four. There you go. Where is it? There we go. What did I do? There we go. Okay. Twelve. Three point one four times twelve times two. You're missing a value, though. Oh, centimeters. No, 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 that's good. Times or multiplied by? Two. two. You can speak it. No, I don't have that ability. <laughs> uh, I think so. We're going to need a calculator to figure it out, though. It's going to be 24 times 3, which is going to be close to 80 something, I guess. I don't know. 60, 60, 60 plus 12, 75 ish. <laughs> this is like being on the radio and having nobody say anything. Um, <laughs> We've got dead air. Ready. In the calculator, we are typing <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <laughs> 75. 4. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
of <laughs> that just fit in, in it. This circle is <laughs> this or the same thing. This the circle. This is seventy-five point three six centimeters. Very nice. Yay! Good job. Did it. Look at that happy face. I like to make my happy faces a lot bigger. Ah. See? No, I'll get rid of that. Don't worry. Okay, I believe we have... Shh. We have a question. Go ahead. Nope, he doesn't want to say it. It's okay. We have one student example left. Students. <gasps> or not. We can skip you if you want. No, you don't want to? No, you see, I can't... No, because you don't have... Yeah? Can you do a... Hmm. We've done composite shapes already. We've done circumference. What else have we done? What can we do? Sudne? A um, area of... Area a, of... A trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid? Yeah. Do we remember the formula for area of a trapezoid? Yes. Area equals A plus B divided by 2 uh, times height. Area of a trapezoid equals A plus B divided by 2. I know, it's amazing when I write things, isn't it? So, do you want to give that a try? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to draw you out a trapezoid. Do, 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 do. So our height is going to be 2 centimeters. Our base, our big base, is going to be, what do we say, 6 centimeters? And we'll make this one 4 centimeters. Okay. Okay. Do you remember which value is which? Come on, come, start writing. I'll tell you. So that's our formula, right? Yeah. Do we have A and B? Uh, yeah. Which ones are they? What's this one in the middle here? Height. That's height, so that's not A and B, right? Mm hmm So which other two values could be A and B? Uh, six and a four. Six and four, so six. So. Plus. Six. And that's all divided by two. Divided by two. So draw a line underneath it. Divided by two. Two. And now you multiply all of that by the height. So put some brackets so, around it. So I'm done. And then put a multiplication symbol, X. And what's the height? Uh two. Two. So. You can draw it in. Okay, so. What? There you go. So, now we have 6 plus 4 divided by 2 and then multiplied by 2 again. So, so do we even really need to do the division and multiplication? No, they cancel out. But go ahead. Okay, so. 6 plus 4 gives you? 10. 10. So equals 10. So. Ten. Divided by two? Divided by well, it's right underneath it here. It's right, in, right here. Divided by two, and then we have to multiply it again by two. So that equals... Ten? Yeah, it does in total, right? Because you ta take ten, divide by two, and multiply by two, same thing. Uh -huh. It's ten what? Ten 